Metroid 12 based Lineage OS 19 has been out for some time now and I've decided to talk about it on the internet. <laughs> so I installed this ROM using Lineage's official instructions and recovery on their website. It was a breeze and fairly easy to flash everything that I needed, including Google Apps. The first difference from 18.1 that I immediately noticed was that the installer was now in dark mode, which means that dark mode is now the default in Lineage OS. The new launcher, forked from Launcher 3, is very similar to its predecessor, but with added icon pack support, meaning you can now have those material you inspired icons through third party icon themes. Since the Gaps package I installed was one that replaces the stock Lineage apps with Google Apps, I can show you the updated launcher in action. What you're seeing is Launcher Launcher. If you're wondering whether this ROM supports adaptive color themes, wonder no more. It does support it, and you can find it being used in Google's own apps, and also in third-party apps which support Android 12's adaptive color themes. The ROM itself also supports adaptive icons, which is a feature that was removed from the official version of Android 12 by Google. Keep it in line with the stock version of Android 12. The notification shade quick settings panel, volume panel, settings app, and lock screen have all adopted the look and feel of Google stock software. So I've been using this ROM for about a month or so, and I can say that it's been pretty stable. During the first few updates, apps would randomly disappear from the recent apps view. However, that's no longer the case. I haven't really noticed any other problems aside from that early on. Gaming on this ROM has been the same as gaming on stock Oxygen OS or on Lineage OS 18. No real difference here that I can make out with the naked eye. I haven't done any synthetic benchmarks, but in my experience stuff seems to run smoothly. Currently Lineage OS is only available for a select number of devices, but may be available to others sooner or later. I'll link to a resource where you can find out about device availability and whether or not it's available for your phone. Thanks for watching my video. I'm EC Tech. I'll see you all in the next video.